Um, so first thing to note here is that uh, whatever we set in this table, it's going to look up on these breakpoints here. So if we have um, only a target of maybe something like 20 or 22 PSI of maximum boost, then we want to set our scale for our boost target here accordingly. Now these are editable breakpoints. Um, so let's just say our target was 20 PSI. We'd want to have a little bit higher uh, breakpoint here so that we can uh, ask for more boost if we choose to do so down the road. So let's just say 20 PSI was our maximum target. We're going to hit 20, 20, 24. It's going to ask us if we want to um, decrement the cells to make room. Let's just click no. It's going to repopulate this table here. Um, then we can go in here and just manually set some of this up. So let's have a breakpoint at uh, something like 22 and then 20. We can move in very fine increments because we want to have a, a large control or a, a tighter breakpoint resolution here so we have more data points to hit for our boost control so it's going to be more accurate. Um, so let's come in like this and then have 5 PSI here. Okay, so let's just assume in this example that our wastegate spring was 8 PSI wastegate spring. So we, in theory, should be able to hit 8 PSI with the 8 PSI spring installed with no boost control hooked up. So that's going to be our zero point. So in that case, we'd go into our table here, we'd ask it for 8, and we can see that it's going to shift up here to our breakpoint value here in this row. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a pool uh, and see exactly what the boost is going to be. So our actual boost here uh, during a dyno pool, <clears throat> we're going to review that and see exactly what it's all going to look like. So let's go ahead here, let's fire up our data logger, let's start PC logging here. We can see that our trace window is already, already going, so let's go ahead and we're going to go and we're going to make a pool here and we're going to have our boost go up and let's just say we see here, we rev it out. Okay, just for, illust for illustration's sake here. Let's just say no, we're not going to save it. We just want to do this for illustration purposes. So if we want to review that data log and see exactly what went on, we're going to use this cursor key right here. And we're going to, as soon as we click on the window, it's going to stop. And then we can go back and we can see now, we can trace through the data log. And it's going to be very clear uh, where we were at, what our actual duty cycle control was, and exactly how everything's working.